Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera My name is Muhammad Atmah Afif and Salah uh, We are from group 4 uh, So our thermal lab is about a heat pump We uh, have uh, 5 members uh, We the first presenter uh, We talk about uh, introduction And uh, the process A little bit of process of a heat pump And the conclusion For the introduction of heat pump, what is the meaning of the heat pump? Heat pump are the that transport heat in the opposite dire uh, direction of natural flow. Uh, the, f the phrase for heat pump refer to a device that heat or cool a specific area. A heat pump transfer heat from one side with a cooler temperature to a warmer one. Uh, actually, there are many uh, application uh, that we that I use for for heat pump such as, such as heat pump which is um, refrigeration, air conditioning and heating when the heat pump is turned off heat is transferred from a hot to cold place for our understanding uh, a heat pump does not transfer heat from one area of a cold reservoir to another as a ref refrigerator does it when it transfer heat from its colder interior part to outside warmer room or when it transfer heat from inside the house to the refrigerator during the winter month so the theory for heat pump is based on the heat transfer principle which maintain the heat flow from a high temperature area to a lower temperature area for example if a heat transfer is a keep at a lower temperature than its surrounding it can increase those temperature so they are have two type of the heat pump the first one is a air heat pump the second one is a geothermal heat pump uh, for the air heat pump they are not need to drill, dig or have a wide plot of land when using air source heat pump. Instead, utilizing an internal mounted air module, the energy is attracted directly from surrounding air. This can place up to 30 meters from the building outside and, and is then connected to an internal heat pump unit for maximum efficiency and for the geothermal uh, heat pump is a horizontal collector loop is positioned at a dip of nearly one meter below ground level at approximately one meter from the ground heat pump which absorb the store solar energy from just under the ground surface this is an effective way for wider land plot with a exact area required depending on the heat pump capacity and thermal conductivity of the soil in the specific location. So the objective for our uh, thermal lab is to investigate the power input, power output and coefficient of the performance of heat pump and to make a comparison, comparison between the actual and ideal vapor Operation refrigeration cycle. For this, uh, for in this slide, I uh, will talk about the how the process how the heat transfer in a heat pump. Uh, there are four uh, usually in the heat pump, uh, which is a compressor, evaporator, condenser, and a expansion valve. So the explanation for the heat pump. Heat pump transfer heat by circulating a substance called, called a refrigerant through a circle of evaporation and consideration. A compressor pump the conversion between two heat exchanger coil. In one coil, the refrigerant is evaporated at a lower pressure and absorb heat from its surrounding. The refrigerant is then compressed and rolled to the other coil where it condenses at a high uh, pressure at this point it 
release the heat it absorbs early in the circle. The process of how the heat pump operate operate uh, in the figure in the figure below. Uh, also, they have a TS diagram and a PH diagram also. Uh, at the left figure is a is a process. Uh, we can show and we can see and the uh, right figure is the table uh, the process uh, which part uh, is process and the description for the uh, each part process uh, like I say they are generally uh, have four main component in the heat pump which is a compressor a condenser an expansion valve and evaporator so the function of each component is discussed below. Uh, the compression process from from point one to two work is done to the refrigerant. As a result, the temperature of the refrigerant will be raised to desired level. So the process concentrate condensation process uh, point two to three is heat is rejected to the surrounding and refrigerant change phase from gas to liquid uh, throttling process 0.3 to 4 refrigerant pressure is decreased during flow in the capillary tube and the evaporation process from 0.4 to 1 refrigerant in liquid form will absorb the heat in the refrigerant space the quantity of the heat absorbed by refrigerants in the evaporator is called a refrigeration effect. Uh, that's all from the heat pump process and a little bit of a heat pump. Uh, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama F153 Bang Rodi, MA 17224. And today I would like to present for BMM 3531 to Thermodynamic Slabs Section 3. And my topic is Experiment Procedure. So first, the part is connected from the water supply to the inlet of the condenser K. And then the other part is connected from the outlet of the condenser I for water to drain off directly. Next, the main switch is turned on at D and the digital and the digital display is allowed to start up for a few seconds before the experiment is carried out. Number three, the computer is turned on and the software for the mechanical heat pump unit is started and the instruction from the software setup is followed. followed. Then the water supply at J is open and let the water flow to circulate within the condenser. After that, the drain valve is open to ensure that the condenser can work under low water pressure. And number five, the volume flow rate is ad adjusted to 10 liter, liter per meter via the flow control valve as di displayed by the digital flow meters. All the initial temperature points is ensured are the same as the room temperature. Number six, the compressor C is switched on when the water temperature T1 inlet and T2 outlet is almost equal and to allow the system to operate for 1 until 2 minutes before performing the experiment. Next, the fan selector O is set to number 1 fan. From the computer, the instruction is followed to record down all the readings of the water temperature. So Ti and T1 from the temperature indicators after 2 minutes. After that, tabulate it into the raw data table 1. At the number 9, the heat transfer rate, condenser heat load, heat pump coefficient of performance and refrigerator coefficient of performance is calculated. The experiment is repeated with different flow rate. At least 3 different sets of results is tried to obtain. So for the needed setup, first you need to get connect the, the physical sensor to the computer 
to the software need depth and after that open the need depth software and new task is created from data neighborhood section after that you click on acquire signals through the analog input and the physical sensor is choose after the signal is choose the channel that we want to use is added next the program is run and then we open the desi lab setup and we put the analog and we connect the we choose the analog input and we add the scaling digital meter and the right data and then we added the formula interpret then we add the result pressure result digital meter power pressure flow indicator and temperature to that we add the result volume flow rate and lastly result mass flow rate and this is the complete setup of the daisy lab last but not least how strength gauges sense the pressure the figure 5 shows how strength gauges sense the pressure stress is the force applied to a material divided by the material's cross section area strain gauges convert the applied force pressure torque etc into an electrical signal which can be measured force causes strain which is then measured with the strain gauges by the way of the change in electrical resistance i think that's all from me uh, and thank you very much Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Ghassan Sami al -Usta. So uh, I will uh, talk about the result. So the result of both objective of the experiment is, re is recorded and discussed uh, in the chapter. For the first part of this chapter, we will discuss on the first objective of the laboratory, which uh, is to investigate the relationship between the coefficient of performance of the heat pump uh, with the percentage of the opening valve condition then we will uh, discuss on the second objective uh, which is investigate the relationship between the percentage of opening valve uh, and the temperature difference in the inlet and outlet of the water uh, so the data obtained from experiment one uh, and it's calculated uh, enthalpy valve so as we can see the we use the temperature and uh, we, we, can, we can find the enthalpy from the temperature uh, from fully opened and uh, uh, 25%, 15 and 75 and 100. And the coefficient of performance for the heat pump at different condition of the veil. So the this is the four uh, condition, which, uh, which is uh, from 25 to 100%. And the coefficient of uh, performance is uh, 4.0 4 for the 25 fully opened and uh, 4.26 for 15% of fully opened and 5.24 for 75% of fully opened and the last one is 5.7 uh, for 100% of fully open. So the example of uh, calculation for 25% fully opened veil at point 0.1 temperature uh, one is uh, tem the temperature is 32.41 celsius uh, so from table one, from table A11, we can uh, find the enthalpy. So at point two, the temp uh, temperature is uh, 84, 84.61 uh, uh, Celsius. So we can find the enthalpy at uh, 18 uh, uh, Celsius and uh, 19 Celsius, uh, which is between them. We can, uh, which we use uh, interpolation. At point three, uh, temperature three uh, uh, is uh, thirty-two point eighty-one. So uh, the we can find the enthalpy F. So uh, uh, from the schedule. At point four, uh, due to the throat, uh, due to the th uh, throttling wave, H four uh, uh, enthalpy four and enthalpy three we will equal uh, ninety-seven point sixty-six. So the uh, COP for 25% fully opened uh, is 4.03. This is the formula which we use to uh, find it. So uh, investigation of the relationship between the percentage of opening valve and the temperature difference at the inlet and outlet of the uh, water. So here what uh, you can see the temperature, uh, the different temperature uh, we used and the mass flow rate 
and the heat flow rate and uh, which we use the uh, formula uh, formula and this uh, table show the heat flow rate of water with different valve opening condition thank you السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my name is Khaled Ahmed Amar Bahaysami and uh, my ID MA17189 I will continue from here for heat pump experiment and for discussion uh, we discussed the factor that would influence on the COB and we found that the temperature uh, is if, uh, COB is affected by the temperature difference between inside and outside the COB is highly dependent uh, on operation condition, especially absolute temperature and relative temperature between sink and uh, system. And it's often graphed uh, or averaged uh, against expected condition since the room temperature is almost 22 Celsius. The COB decreases with the increase outside temperature. If a higher heat source temperature is available, utilizing a double effect system does increase COB. But the COB for double effect is also flat. This is dependent or be, or be, uh, of performance on working fluid bare and not heat source temperature. Uh, is in fact a general characteristic of uh, surfing uh, heat pumps. Also, the errors that may influence the results. We have four main uh, errors, uh, which is one: uh, one sensor is not con connected or is not working. Second, the sensor is either not linked or the, the system are not in the function. Uh, third, uh, the, valve, the valve of water flow is not fully opened. Lastly, rushing to collect data early and not waiting the system, uh, which is heat bump, to run for 30 minutes to collect stable data. Uh, thank you, and my friend will continue from here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Yunus Majid Jaidi, MA17246. And uh, I will continue the presentation from here. For the discussion, is uh, there is a part to discuss about the improving the ac the access accuracy of the experiment result. So, to improve the accuracy of the experiment result, we must ensure that the precision of the measurement equipment and method used both in which have an impact on comp computed COB values. It should also be noted that any heat pump has perfect coefficient of performance, which is COB. However, the coefficient of performance is less than the ID val value due to the variety of factors and that, that produce incorrectly or losses in the system, such as mechanical or electrical losses in the fan or compressor or inconsistency in the measuring equipment. Uh, for the conclusion, the coefficient of performance trend for the vapor compression heat pump system have been analyzed. Theoretically, the condenser heat remover and the coefficient of performance of the heat pump will increase linearly with, a, with the increase of the mass flow rate. This is due to the condenser heat remover with, a, with be influenced by the volume flow rate while the coefficient of performance influenced by the condenser heat remover. Finally, the the volume flow rate of water affected the condenser heat remover. The coefficient of performance of heat pump uh, significantly.